day. Welcome to American Fallon. I've been uh, watching a lot of uh, videos about uh, martial law and FEMA camps, FEMA coffins, vlogs by like tons of tons of uh, concerned American freedom fighters. I gotta tip my hat to you guys. Uh, you're probably the most divisive people on the earth to the New World Order. I think the United States was always the single most divisive country to Britain, the British Empire, which are at the top or near it of the New World Order. But uh, I wanted to talk about uh, some of these videos about the FEMA camps and FEMA coffins, especially from this uh, site, uh, stbrigida.com. Now, if there was ever a CIA agent, it's them, and they're spreading fear with their American coffins for American people. Come and get them. You know, kind of deal. <laughs> yeah, it, it's terrifying. And yes, they're building concentration camps all over America and Canada. And yes, they are implementing the police state all over America first. And now they're starting to do it in Canada. But um, I know how these guys operate. And I doubt that they're going to put their boots on the ground in the uh, heaviest armed country in the world. Especially since you're all ready for them. Yeah, there'll be like check stops everywhere and they're going to they're going to whittle you down, you know, like your uh <clears throat> Obama the, the the savior, the Obama Christ. Well, you know, he's showing his true colors now and uh, he's reversing on most of the promises he made, just like any other politician. That seems to be the norm if you're an honest person that is fighting for the rights of the people. You don't get very far, and if you do get far, you probably get killed, such as our, our times. But uh, I think... Uh, I think instead of thinking about like having armed confrontation with the UN or invading forces from China or India, I think you better think about definitely having uh, enough food because there's uh, environmental warfare being waged by the UN and of course the DC government. Yeah, right now they're actually implementing laws where you're not allowed to grow your, grow your own food. You're not allowed to grow organic food, and they're passing laws all over Canada and the United States to legalize uh, vitamins, vitamin C. In Canada, they're pushing to make the orange under the drug law, under the drug act. You know, so right now, as we speak, there's a war going on against our food, and Monsanto is at the forefront of it. Because this is a fascist state, and we're being run by the corporations that we have empowered by buying crap for the last 50 years, being suckered in by them into believing that we need all this unnecessary crap, and we've just enriched them, and in turn rich, enriched the banksters, and so now they're in control of us. Now it's becoming crystal clear that we have to disempower them. We have to take their power off them. They're very good at manipulating people, so on YouTube, you know, you're going to see a lot of stuff about taking your guns away in FEMA camps and the like. And a lot of it, this is true. A lot of people will go to concentration camps and a lot of people will, will get their guns confiscated. <clears throat> but their, their main their main tactic, their main strategy will be what they are doing in Iraq, what they have been doing in Iraq for the last 20 years, 
that is what they're going to do in the United States, Africa, sub Asia. That's what they're doing. That that's the model for the whole world to be in perpetual war, and the United States is no different. And uh, they're not going to. I don't think they're going to come in and risk their necks against the most heav heaviest armed country in the world. <clears throat> they're just going to starve you out. They're probably going to cause a, a huge uh, natural catastrophe to happen that will that will stunt plant growth for years. Wouldn't be that hard. All they have to do is blow up Yellowstone. And you have a thick cloud of ash over the whole country for um, three years. It would be dark for at least three or four months. Everything would die. It would become winter even if it was summer. They know how to do it. They have the means and the wherewithal. We've been empowering them all this time, and here we are. We're, we're almost like a bunch of uh, caged animals, and it's a turkey shoot, you know, basically. But, you know, it, that would be too easy for them. They're going to torture us first. They're going to starve us to death. They're going to turn us against each other. Just uh, go back to Iraq and study what the fuck they've been doing in Iraq for the last 20 years. And that is exactly what they're going to do. They're going to set neighbor against neighbor. You're arming yourself to the teeth. I would submit that most Americans won't ever even shoot a UN soldier. You'll be shooting each other. They'll set you against each other. This, this Obama Christ, he's setting up a civilian police force. He's probably going to import blacks from Africa to come here and enforce the law, you know. He's going to have uh, gangs. He's going to revamp the, uh, the Black Panthers. And uh, it's going to be a uh, thug rule. Basically, just like uh, Nazi Germany, brown shirts, you're going to have thug rule. You're going to have drug dealing gangs keeping the peace in your community. And you're not going to be able to say a damn thing about it, whether you have a gun or not. What are you going to do against all that? Like, he's setting up a civilian police force. He's got all these people brainwashed. This is like the Twilight Zone. <clears throat> yeah, they're they're making you focus on on the big package, you know, the the end result, the invasion. But really, the invasion the invasion is going on right now in Canada and the United States. Our governments. I think it's obvious to you and me that it, they've been infiltrated and they're finished. Our governments, our central governments, are finished. So. Uh, Anything the UN is doing, you got to you got to go to your government and make sure those spineless scumbags don't do the bidding of the UN because it all involves population reduction, population enslavement, and environmental warfare. So that's my message for today. Just a thought. You please comment and tell me what you think, but uh, I think the real war is happening right now. We're being invaded right, right now. The Trojan horse is in our town. The walls are being breached, and uh, we've got to start fighting the government right now. I'm not talking about going to shoot them. I'm just talking about harassing them at, at every turn every fucking turn. Don't let any of those scumbags get away with this. Expose them at every level. While well, we have time. From America Fell, this is Aaron Allen signing off. Good day, folks.